Hello, beautiful, lightful souls. My name is Trisha Barker. If you noticed my last post, it was a guided meditation. I'm really excited to collaborate with Stephen Buckner, a talented musician who is also guided by intuition and the angels. And I loved the collaboration. I hope you enjoy it as well. I'm someone who loves all types of meditation. So transcendental meditation, guided meditation, traditional types of, uh, of meditations, but I particularly love meditating in nature as well. And that is where I got the idea for the first annual online uh, near-death experience summit and where I continued to go for guidance during the second one. It was so exciting for me to feel that energy that came through from the experiencers as they were talking about the afterlife and heaven. I think that that energy can be translated to others and it is something that I feel and I hope that those who attended feel it as well. I know from some of your emails that that you did experience that bliss. If you missed it, you can see the replay link of the day and you can also uh, see the videos, interviews that occurred with all the speakers. But on to the subject of meditation. I believe that in our hurried times and in our hectic times, more than ever, we need meditation. We need that connection to greater peace, to guidance, to that love from the other side that can stream into our lives and add healing to anything that we're working on. And currently, I'm working on uh, healing adrenal fatigue. It's it happens to people who have suffered a lot of trauma. It's really quite common. And, you know, it's, it's easy to keep drinking coffee and just keep going and pushing forward in life. But these health crisis moments, I think, force us to really go deeper with ourselves and find a different balance. And so I'm going to be doing a lot more meditation. And so I'd love to share some of them with you. And from time to time, I might post an occasional guided meditation. And I'd love to have your feedback on that. I, I work with all kinds of doc doctors, functional doctors, Chinese medicine doctors, healers, you know, I will get this under control, and I will find greater balance. But Again, it, it is humbling to realize just the toll that trauma can take on one's life and, and chronic stress, you know, how it can build up. But I do know that the love from the other side and that connection to guidance amplifies meditations and it amplifies the work that healers do and it amplifies everything. And more than that, I think extending unconditional love to ourselves as we're going through something difficult is important. So I know that many of you face much greater health crisis moments than adrenal fatigue. And I just want to extend my hope that you are reaching out for that unconditional love for yourself, um, for what you are going through and really kind of cradling yourself through that moment and searching for the right options for you. You can simply ask God to open up the avenues that are going to best suit your particular healing and just see how everything unfolds. But again, you can always call on angels when you're at the doctor's office, when you, whatever type of doctor uh, you're going to see, you can always ask for that guidance and that extra help in those moments. And, and that is uh, a beautiful, a beautiful experience. But I love connecting with readers who have read Angels in the OR, and I hope to continue to do that. I know so many of you just relate, and I think my greatest literary achievement is simply being able to relate to you and to getting some of these emails that people are sending me about their own lives and what they've survived and their own thoughts about healing and spiritual experiences. And it's, it's really been an amazing blessing to hear your thoughts and your journeys and, and to connect with some people who are young and just figuring out uh, some of these things. I have to tell you a short tidbit uh, before I end this, but I may have mentioned this in an interview or somewhere else, but I wanted to put it in a video. So 
one of the reasons why I wrote Angels in the OR was I was thinking four years ago, five years ago, however long ago that was about writing the book. And I thought, should I do this? Should I not? And then I got this amazing bit of guidance and it, it really just tickled me because I saw after my death, this young man, and he picks up my book in a library, and I think he's kind of in a small town, or I don't know where he is in the world, but it's not a very open place, and he has mediumship abilities, and he doesn't feel validated by this, by anyone around him, but I see this young man, and you know he's struggling with being accepted and coming out. Um, you know, it, it just, I see his particular struggle and something about my book validates his ability to just be fully himself. And it validates his ability to use his intuition to connect with the other side. And I thought, wow, that's so amazing. If If the purpose of that book is really just to give that young man in the future, he might not even be born yet, you know, that, uh, that connection to a greater self-esteem, a greater ability to make it through his surroundings and his environment and to feel a greater love and connection to the other side because of my story, something in my story, then that is just amazing. So sometimes the things that we do in this world have lasting value and they have um, really important value, but we don't even get to see it until after our death. And it was just really beautiful to see that, you know, maybe I'll even get to be his guide. You know, like it was just, it was really kind of special. So anyway, I just like to remind you that the things that you do, the things that you put out into this world, the prayers that you pray, the kindness that you give to this world, it has lasting value. And you may not see how it all connects and how it is all interwoven until many years later or maybe after you transition on, but it's amazing. It really is amazing how everything is connected and everything is beautiful and everything is far more magical than we realize. <laughs> so I hope that you are having an amazing summer. I hope that you're enjoying some moments in nature. And I hope that uh, we connect at some point, whether it is because you saw a video, read my book, experienced uh, some of the speeches from the second annual online near-death experience summit, whatever it may be, I hope that you are experiencing much peace, much great time in meditation and lots of unconditional love from the other side pouring into your life to help you in whatever it is you're trying to overcome, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, and whatever greater peace it is you're trying to simply find in your life and hold on to. And I hope that you do find it. May you be blessed.